Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Welcome to our Bowtie and Box Capelet tutorial. This super easy, fast, 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 fast pattern uh, can also be made into a cowl or a neck warmer. So this is capelet. You just change how many stitches you do to start, but I'll totally be telling you all of that during the tutorial. And it's really just a four row repeat, which is pretty simple. So it looks complicated, but it's not. There is a, it's a, with a five bulky yarn. I'll be showing you in just a couple minutes. And super great, lightweight. This is a Peru alpaca, which I'm just loving. But you can do it with any yarn at all, any thickness. Just use the hook that goes along with the yarn and do the multiple to make it the right size to fit you. So this is the capelet. It can also just be worn up as like an oversized cowl, depending how you want to do it, or just on your shoulders. Or if it's a bit chilly, you can pull it down all the way to fight off that fall breeze. So let's get started. To make this box and bow tie cowl or capelet, I will be using this really great Peru alpaca, bulky from Ice Yarns. They are 50 gram balls, 160 meters and the fiber content is 25% alpaca, 50% merino wool, and 25% acrylic. So that's a size five bulky yarn. You could use any yarn you have at all. If you're not using a size five bulky, you will want to make uh, your starting chains longer. So any multiple of 12. So just multiple, do a multiple of 12 until it is the width you would like. So this is the capelet. For the capelet, I did a multiple of 100 and eight chains to start. And for the cowl, I will be doing five sets of boxes, which is 60 chains to start. You're also welcome to make it larger if you are bigger than me or smaller if you are smaller than me. Just reduce or add by multiples of 12 in your starting chain. The rest of the pattern will be exactly the same. For the capelet, I used five and a bit, just a bit more than five balls. This is what's left over from a sixth ball for the capelet. And for the cowl, I'm just using what I have left over. So I have a, more, a little more than two and a half balls left. So I'll just be using these until it is the size I want or I run out of yarn. And this is part of our one pack ice yarn challenge. So one pack of ice yarns is enough to make one medium size capelet and one cowl from one pack of, of Peru alpaca bulky. So super excited about that. I'll have the yardages and everything on the written pattern as well as in the description box below. Also link to the written pattern if you want the pattern to follow along is on the website secretyarnery.com slash pages slash patterns, but I'll also put a link to it down below. So let's get started. For this pattern, you're gonna need your yarn, obviously, some stitch markers, a darning needle, and a seven millimeter crochet hook if you're using the same yarn as I am or the same thickness, number, number five, bulky. These stitch markers are super handy, but if you don't have, you can just use little snippets of yarn or paper clips or bobby pins, just something to mark your chain. So we're gonna leave a bit of a tail so we can weave it in with a needle later or sew it in. So just make your slip knot any which way that is comfortable for you. Shrink it down and put it on your hook. And chain 12. For this pattern, we also don't need to chain loosely. We're just gonna chain how we normally do in the pattern. So just chain 12 normally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there is my first 12 chains. And you can count your stitches or your chains. You do not count this little knot in the very beginning. And you just count these V's going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11. And right under the hook, is 12. Another tip for counting your chain is just look on one side, just look for these lumps. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 
So we're going to put our stitch marker right into that, the last chain we made, right underneath the hook. Just going to pop it in. There's my stitch marker. And chain 12 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pop a stitch marker. And 12 more. One, If you have a bigger head, feel free to chain another 12 and pop in another stitch marker. It's totally up to you. If you're making the capelet, keep going until you have nine stitch markers in or 108 stitches or until your chain just barely, if you stretch it, it goes around your shoulders. Now lay your chain out nice and flat. You want to be looking at the pretty V's. So you want to be looking at these V's facing up. Make sure there's no twists in your chain and now take your hook and just poke it down into that very first chain that we made like that and slip stitch so we're going to grab our yarn turn our hook facing down and bring it through both those loops on your hook so there is your slip stitch and right away we're going to chain three one two and three just like that. Now into the very same stitch where we slip stitched, we can just kind of scoot to the side a smudge because it's right here. We can go into this bigger hole right there. So wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into this space. So we're just going to go into this big space there. That little kind of gap. So wrap your yarn, push your hook right into that space or into that stitch, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So our chain three counts as a double crochet and we just made a double crochet. So that counts as two double crochets. Now we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10. There's our chain eight. And now we need to skip 11. But we do have our stitch markers in there and why we left them, that's something very helpful. So one, now I'm just going to be counting, to count my chains, I'm just going to count this bottom loop. Just this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and right after twelve. So we're going to skip 11, so we're going to jump over including our stitch marker and we're going to go in to the very next chain, the one right after the stitch marker. You'll see where we joined, where we did our first stitches here, it is right after our stitch marker. So we're going to be going in again right after our stitch marker. You're welcome to count if you want to count, but if you counted nicely in the beginning, you don't really have to count, you can just go in to the stitch or the chain right after the stitch marker. So you're, we're going to go in right there. Two loops on our hook and one underneath. So get your chain, wrap your yarn, and now you're going to have to hold this on your hook with your finger because it'll slide around otherwise. So hold all that there. Find your next stitch marker and go into the chain right after. Just push your hook in. Two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our first double crochet. And now we're going to do one more double crochet into the same stitch, the same chain. So there's two double crochets, a chain one, and two more double crochets all into the very same stitch or the same chain. One and two. So that is our first shell, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets all into the same chain which is after our stitch marker. So now we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get your chain, you want to make sure your chain's not twisted again, so make sure your V's are facing you. Find your stitch marker and we're going to go into the chain right after. So wrap your yarn around your hook, hold it with your finger, 
Find your next stitch marker. Make sure your chain's not twisted. And go into the chain right after the stitch marker. Two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our double crochet. We're gonna do our shell, so that is one more double crochet. Chain one and two double crochets all into the same stitch. These are the shells we're gonna be making all the time, every row, so this one is gonna be nice and quick for you eventually. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get your chain situated so it's not twisted and you can find your next stitch marker. Wrap your yarn, go into the chain right after the stitch marker or skip 11 if you wanna count them out. Two loops on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is a double crochet. And now we're gonna do another double crochet, chain one and two more double crochets. There's our two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets. One and two. So our work is looking like this. We're having little shells with boxes going along, and we're just gonna keep going doing the exact same thing. Making a shell, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain eight, and into the chain right after our stitch marker, doing another shell. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way around our work until we get to where we started. So now we're back to where we started. I'm just gonna be joining up to finish this shell here. That's my last one. And if you have a twist, you wanna make sure that your cowl or your capelet is not twisted. You want that to be straight. It doesn't totally matter about your chain. See, I even have a twist in my chain. Don't know how I managed that one, but I did. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I am going to wrap your yarn and into the very same stitch where we did our chain. I'm gonna be putting my hook straight into the same spot and finishing off this shell. So I'm gonna be doing two double crochets into the very same stitch. So wrap your yarn, hold it with your finger, go in. See, it looks like I'm underneath that chain. It doesn't matter, I am. <laughs> and two double crochets. One and two. We're gonna be joining every row this way. So you'll get very familiar with this too. And instead of doing a slip stitch to join, we're gonna be doing a single crochet. So we'll find our top of the chain three. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either follow your double crochet up that's the top of your double crochet. So the next one over, this guy here, would be your chain. Or you can count your Vs from the bottom. There is one, two, three, so this is the third. Just that little guy at the corner to pull it all nice and square. So we're gonna put our hook in, no wrapping your yarn. Hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back and wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is a single crochet. And now wiggle your fingers in the middle of those two double crochets or your chain and double and your other two doubles. Get your finger in there. That is going to be the center of your shell. So you wanna keep track of that spot. I just hold it open with my thumb and my finger and chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work and into the very same spot where you were holding it open in the center of those two double crochets. Wrap your yarn and make one double crochet. Just like that. Now, if you wanna keep track of this area, you are welcome to put a stitch marker in. I'll just put it in the top of that chain three. That's my double, so there's my chain three. Let's put my stitch marker there. So when I'm working around, I know I don't have to look for my end until, or the end of the row, until I see my stitch marker. And yes, you could use a different color. Now for round three. So for this row, we are gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go underneath our two chains. Just put your hook under, doesn't matter where, just under both of those chains. Grab your yarn and bring it back. 
keep a bit of tension on your yarn. You want it to be kind of a, a nice, tight, single crochet. Wrap your yarn and take off two loops. So there is a single crochet, and we just worked it over top of those loops below. So that is our bow tie. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. And now into the center of our double crochets, we're gonna be doing another shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So all of these shells are gonna get another shell. That's for the whole pattern, every single row. So wrap your yarn, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So if I'm going too fast, you can just pause the video and catch up, or there's also three little dots down below. You can click those and click on the speed you'd like, and you can slow me down until I'm going the speed that you prefer. Now we're gonna build our next bow tie. So chain four, one, two, three, and four. I hold my finger on my loop, on my hook, so it doesn't slide around. You don't want it to like go crazy on you. So just hold your finger on your hook. Go underneath these two chains. Don't worry about where, it'll sort itself out. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's your single crochet for your bow tie. And chain four. One, two, three, four. Into the shell, we do a shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. And now we're gonna do a bow tie over these nice chains here. So chain four, one, two, three, and four. Hold your loop on your hook and make a single crochet around those two chains. Don't worry about it being in the middle or the center, it doesn't have to be. So one single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four and shell. So we're doing bow tie shell, bow tie shell, bow tie shell, all the way around this round. And the shells go really quick now because they're just working into the space of the shell below. And two chains, so time for a bow tie. Chain four. And hold your, your loop on your hook and make a single crochet just by going underneath those chains, grabbing your yarn, and making a single crochet. So wrap your yarn and take off two. Just like that. And you can see it's like not straight, it's all a hot mess, but don't worry about it. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. When you lay it out and wear it, it'll go straight into the middle and totally even out. Just give it a little tug, it'll totally behave itself. And into the next shell, we do a shell. And over the chains, we do a bow tie. So chain four, one, two, three, four. Finger on your hook, go underneath those chains, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our single crochet and chain four, one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna finish our shell into the center of the shell below. So wrap your yarn into the center, two double crochets, one and two, and we're gonna single crochet to join. So we're gonna single crochet to the top of the chain three, so you can do your double crochet and then the next chain over, or you can look for your little chains that go up. There's one loop here, there's our second, and here's our third or you can just kind of pick a stitch in the corner that's gonna pull it out and make it look like a double crochet. So I just poke my hook in and in just into that top corner. Push your hook in, two loops of that stitch on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. Make sure you have the center, I make sure I get my center sorted out here, and chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work, and one double crochet into the center of the shell below. So wrap your yarn into the big space in the middle, one double crochet. Now we get to do something really fun, and this is when you can kind of go around and make sure your bow ties, especially for this first round, are behaving. We don't want any twists. So make sure 
your stitches are facing up, your V's are on the one side, and your chain is down below. And just make sure everything is centered now. See how this one's a bit messy? <laughs> Let's give it a little pull. It'll totally straighten itself out like that. Now we get to do the boxes, and boxes are super fun. They're a bit different, so this is where we're gonna start remembering stuff. So we're gonna do a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna find our single crochet, so where we tied our bow tie, just the top here. So if you just push your hook straight in, you'll see you went underneath both loops of that V. That's what we wanna do. We don't wanna just grab one, because that's gonna be a really weak join. We wanna go straight down into it, and then just check that you went under both loops of the V. So right into the top of our you know, connector, our bow tie connector, two loops of that stitch on your hook. No wrapping your yarn. So just go straight in, grab your yarn and bring it back, and wrap your yarn and take off two. We're making a single crochet, just like that. Chain three, one, two, three. And now we're turning our work. So this is where you need to remember. Every time you go into the bow tie, you have work to do. So turn your work and into or around this chain five, into the chain five space below, we're gonna do five double crochets. So wrap your yarn and go just into the space, five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. Chain one, turn your work again. So we're, we're doing our box. That was the bottom layer of our box. Now we're gonna be going into the top layer of our box. So we're gonna be going into every one of these stitches. So that's our chain one way over on the side. Doesn't count as anything. We're gonna go into the very first stitch. These little kind of dimples here. There's our second, third, fourth, fifth and we're gonna go into that chain. So we're gonna be doing six double crochets going back because our chain three counted as a double crochet in the very beginning. So now we're gonna do six double crochets going back. Wrap your yarn, go into the very first stitch, grab your yarn and bring it back, and make your double crochet. Into the next stitch, and if you push your hook, just turn it up and make sure you have both strands of that loop, both strands of that V on your hook double crochet, and one double crochet into each stitch going up back and into the chain. This is the very last stitch. If you kind of pull, you'll see the little stitch after the post. That's right, right there. So that's our last one, our last stitch. And now we have to go into the chain. So to go into the chain, I just kind of push my hook in. I don't do anything fancy. I just see that next loop and I'm just gonna get in there. I still want two loops of it, on, two loops of the chain on my hook. So I'm just gonna make sure one of those loops goes underneath my hook and two stay on the top. So wrap your yarn and double crochet into the top of the chain three. So that is our sixth double crochet going back. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're gonna go straight into making a shell. So from our box, put, hold your finger on your hook to keep track of that loop. Just make sure it doesn't keep slipping around on you. Wrap your yarn, go into the chain one space of your shell and make another shell. You'll remember that every shell always gets a shell. So there's our first double crochet and we'll just finish off that shell. So to, our second double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochets. One and two. So that was our very first box. We have our bow tie and our box ready to get, keep going. And we're gonna keep building these boxes all along on top of our bow tie connector for this entire round. So to start our box, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. 
and into, if you kind of pull at that single crochet, you'll see the big space open up of where you can build your box or connect the tip of your box. So into that nice big space, into the single crochet, make one more single crochet. That kind of just pins down our box. Chain three, one, two, three. That counts as our first double crochet of our box and turn. Wrap your yarn and five double crochets into this big space. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet, so that counts as six. We're gonna chain one, that doesn't count as anything, and turn your work for our second row of box. Our boxes are two rows tall. So wrap your yarn and into each stitch, including this very first one right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and remember, into your chain. So our first double crochet into the first stitch, second, third, fourth, fifth, and don't forget your chain. So I'm just going to push my hook in any which way. I want one loop below my hook and two loops on top. So wrap your yarn and just give it a nice push. Two loops on your hook and make a double crochet. So we finished our box. Now it's time to do a shell. So no chaining or anything in between the boxes and the shells. You're gonna go straight from box to shell. So wrap your yarn, hold your loops on your hook with your finger and make your shell. Two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. So we finished our box, connected straight to our shell. And now we're gonna start our, our next box. Boxes start with a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull at that chain, that single crochet, to see where you need to put your hook. Put your hook in and make a single crochet to pin down your box and chain three. One, two, three. And this is where you're gonna maybe possibly make a mistake in the pattern is you'll think you're chaining and building another shell. You'll forget to do your box. So remember, when you go into that center of the bow tie, give yourself like a little mental note to stop <laughs> and make your box because you'll have to go back and frog it and put in your box later. So when you're making the single crochet and pulling it all apart, use that as like a mental slow down and make sure you do a box moment. So we went into our single crochet, we did our chain three, now we have to turn our work and build our box. So wrap your yarn and five double crochets into this space. Chain one, turn your work, and six double crochets going back, last one going into the chain. And our last one into the chain. So even if you pull at the chain, you'll see somewhere to go in where there's one loop down below and two loops above. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the chain. So there's our box finished. Now we go straight to the shell. So wrap your yarn and go straight into your shell. Shells are two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. And now we have the center of our bow tie again. Bow tie means slow down and make a box. So we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And build our box. So single crochet into the center, single crochet down below. So one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and make sure to turn your work. Make your box five double crochets into the space. Go just going around that chain. There's our five double crochets and our chain three. Chain one and turn your work. And now work back along. Five double crochets into the stitches and one into the chains. So we're gonna be doing six double crochets for the top row of our box, starting in the very first stitch. And one into each stitch going all the way along. 
and one into the chain. Just push your hook in, get two loops on your hook, and make your last double crochet. So there's our six double crochets going back along. And jump straight into your shell. So you're gonna keep doing that all the way along until you reach the end of this row. So there's my last box, and here is where I started the round. So this is the, my shells where I'm doing the joining. So I'm gonna go straight in from my box to my shell. So wrap your yarn, hold everything on your hook with your finger, and two double crochets into the center of that shell down below. There's one and two. And single crochet to join. So we're always doing the exact same thing every single round for the joining. So top of the chain three or the one beside that double crochet. Just this guy here. We're just gonna push your hook in, two loops of that stitch on your hook. Now push your hook in, two loops, grab your yarn and bring it back. Hold the center open with your thumb and finger. Wrap your yarn and take off two, so there's your single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Hold the center open, turn your work around, and one more double crochet into the center where you've been holding it open. That's the center of those double crochets down below. And now we are ready for a really, really, really great, like my favorite row of this pattern. It goes so great. We're going to go back to chaining eight and doing shells. We get to do that for two rows. So chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip this box. You're just ignoring it to pretend it's not even there. Hold your loop on your hook, wrap your yarn, and into the shell. So jumping over the box. We're just ignoring the box. We're only doing chains and shells. So into the center of the shell, the next shell over, you're gonna make another shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Just like that. And see how this box is just like loose and flapping around? That's how, that's fine. It's supposed to be like that. We're just doing shells and chains. So chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip the box. Hold the loop on your hook. Wrap your yarn and make a sh two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets into the space of the shell down below. So keep going around making your chain eight and a shell into the shell down below and I'll see you when you get to the end of this row. Jump the box and now this is where we joined, where I started the row. So into that space we're just going to finish that shell. So two double crochets into the same space. One and two. Single crochet to join. So push your hook into the top of the chain three and make a single crochet. Hold the center of those that shall open with your finger and thumb. Chain three, one, two, three. Hold it open, turn your work, and one double crochet into the same space. So that will hold it open forever now. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for this row. So chain eight, make a shell, chain eight, make a shell, chain eight, make a shell, ignoring the boxes. So keep doing this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the row. So where I started, my last chain eight into our last half shell, we'll finish our shell. So two double crochets, one and two, and single crochet to join. So push it in, two loops, grab your arm and bring it back, and single crochet. Find your center, hold it open, chain three, one, two, three, turn your work, and one double crochet into the center where you've been holding it open. If you don't hold it open, you can just go back and like make sure you can separate them one and two, you'll find the center, but you can also just turn it that way and not have to look. So I think for me, it's a little bit faster. Now for this round, this one's really fun because <laughs> we get to do bow ties again. This is bow ties and connecting boxes. So we're gonna do a chain four, one, two, three, 
and four and find the corner of this box. So we did a chain one on the side. So this little mess thing there is the chain one. We're ignoring that. We're gonna go in to these, the top of our real double crochet, which is this guy right there. We're gonna pick that one up, two loops. It doesn't totally matter, to be honest. If you're just starting out, you can just like literally just push your hook in to the corner of your box. You wanna make sure you have two loops. You don't wanna go in just with one loop. You can push it anywhere and get two loops on your hook. That's all you need to do. So push your hook in. I'm gonna go underneath these guys. So just at the top. Put my hook under my two chains like we did before. Grab my yarn and bring it through. So underneath the chains and through that stitch and single crochet. So wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is our new bow tie, chain four, one, two, three, and four. And now we're gonna do shells. So a shell into the shell. Two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. So that is what it looks like now when we make a bow tie into the corner of that box. And you can see why we wanted to get two loops of that stitch on our hook, because that'll be a really loose join if we didn't. So that's what it looks like. Now we're gonna do the same thing and connect all of these boxes to our bow ties all the way around. So chain four, one, two, three, four. Find the top stitch or the last double crochet of your box. So you can also count backwards if you like. So there's one, which is the dimple, two, dimple, three, dimple, four, five, and six. So six, even if you poke your hook, it's just kind of basically that hill. You poke your hook straight in to that spot and you'll end up with two loops of the last double crochet on your hook. If you're starting out, it doesn't totally matter, don't stress out. Make sure you get two loops and the corner of that box on your hook. Slide your hook underneath the chains, grab your yarn and bring it through. I'm pinching my work down here so I can grab my yarn through nicely. Just pinching underneath that stitch. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there is the single crochet to make your bow tie and chain four. One, two, three, four. Shell into the shell. So keep going around making a shell into a shell and chain four and single crochet to connect your box and I'll meet you at the end of this row. When you get back to where you joined, you're just gonna finish off that shell. So two double crochets into the same space. One and two. Single crochet to join. So just push your hook in to the top of that chain three any which way. Single crochet. Hold it open with your fingers. Chain three. One, two, three. Hold it open. Turn your work. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the center of that shell. And now we're going back to building boxes. So this is our building boxes row. So we're gonna start by doing a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Find your single crochet that connected your bow tie and single crochet into that same stitch. So single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. And now make sure you turn your work and build your box. So turn your work and build your box. So five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, turn your work. One double crochet into each stitch, starting with your first stitch and ending with one into the chain. I'm just gonna push my hook in, just down into that first chain. Double crochet. Straight into the shell. So this is the same row as we did before. So shell into the shell, no chaining between the boxes and the shells. Just straight shell. Shells are 
two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Now into the single crochet of our bow tie, we're gonna do our box. So chain five, single crochet, chain three, turn your work, go back, building your box. Jump straight into your shell and make a shell and keep going around making shells and boxes until you reach the beginning of this row. That's my last box. So I'm just gonna wrap my yarn and go into that shell where I started this round and do my two double crochets. One and two. Single crochet to join, same as always. I'm just gonna push my hook in, two loops on my hook and single crochet. Hold it open with my thumb and a finger and chain three. One, two, three. Turn my work and one more double crochet into that same space. So that's my half shell, just waiting for the next round. And now we're right back to my favorite, and probably your favorite too, which is shells and chain eights. So I started my shell here, so chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump over and do your shell. So remember, you're skipping your boxes. You're ignoring them for two rows. Just let them hang, doesn't matter at all. You're only doing chain eights and shells. And we're doing this for two rows. So I'll meet you at the end of this row and we'll start the next row together. Into the shell where I started this row, finish off that shell. So two double crochets with a single crochet to join. Let's push your hook in, two loops on your hook, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, hold it open, turn your work, and one double crochet into the same center space. And we're going to do the same row again, so chain eight, shell, chain eight, shell, chain eight, shell, skipping our boxes, just doing the exact same row again, and I'll meet you when you get back to the beginning. So I've come around to where I started, my chain and double crochet. So finish off that shell with two double crochets and a single crochet to join. Hold it open, chain three, turn your work, and one double crochet into the same space. So this is the bow tie round. We have our two chains and our loose boxes. So we're gonna do chain four. One, two, three, four. Into the top double crochet or the corner of that box, underneath the chains and single crochet. Chain four and shell. So we're gonna keep doing our bow ties and shells, just picking up our boxes and tying everything together with a single crochet all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. So I made all of the bow ties. I'm back to where we started this row. Did my chain four, so two double crochets into the same space where I started. So now we're just gonna keep going, alternating the pattern. We're gonna start with boxes, then two rows of chain eights, then a bow tie, then boxes, two rows of chain eights, bow tie, boxes, two rows of chain eights, bow tie, all the way along until your cowl or capelet is the length you want it to be, or the height you want it to be. And for your last row, you wanna finish on a bow tie row. So we started the pattern, the very end of it looks like bow ties, even though we started with chains, but it looks like bow ties. So we're gonna finish also with bow ties. So keep going until your cowl or capelet is the size you want it to be. When your cowl or capelet is the height you want it to be, instead of joining with a single crochet, we are going to join with an invisible join because it is a garment and I promise you, you can totally do it. So to join, we're gonna do a chain one. That, replace, that gives us the distance and also the center of our uh, V, or the center of our shell. And cut your tail. You wanna leave a long enough tail so you can sew it in with a needle. And now we're just gonna pull our hook up and our yarn through. And thread your needle like that. Now we're gonna find 
the top of the chain three and now we have to be a tiny bit fussy so just turn your work up so you're looking at those V's and put your needle right underneath both loops of that chain so we can tell our double crochet is here so that's our double crochet we want to go underneath the V's of the next stitch over so this stitch right there that's our first that's the top of the chain three so just drag your yarn underneath there like that and bring your yarn back towards you so you can see what you're up to and then this is the chain one where our yarn is coming from so we're just going to go straight back in the center of that only one loop on your needle right now just pull it through like that and look you have a nice little invisible join so that looks that's our join and it looks just like a stitch and we have our chain one space because we just worked it right into the chain one so now just kind of sew in your end so I'm going to work it over to where I have a fat stitch and bring it down underneath here that's where I want to be working it in you don't want to pull too tight you want that still to look like a stitch I'm going to grab a loop from down underneath in there a different one and back along see the good thing about these clover is a little bent tip it can kind of help you work your end in along that curve so I'm going to sew my end in one direction not you don't want to pull too tight you want it to be like you don't want it to be hanging out but you don't want it to be pulling and I'm going to not go underneath this loop here my last one skip that one and go back the other direction just back and forth that way it won't stretch out you won't have a little wiggly end and again you don't want to pull too tight you just want it to not be hanging out so get your scissors and just trim off that tail and there is your super cute cowl or capelet and you can't tell where you did all your joining your joining is basically invisible sew in your tail at the other end and you can take out your stitch markers and give it a try so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have crochet goodness every day of the week and love to have you join our community. Thanks so much for inviting me over and see you in the next video. Stay hooked. <laughs>